Just about 20 minutes after 11, I'm Nick Harcourt, your host for Morning Becomes Eclectic. Damien Rice is in our studio this morning. Welcome. Thank you. Good to see you. <laughs> you too. Late night last night, I hear, huh? Early morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's another way of putting it. Well, welcome to L.A. I know you've been doing a couple of shows and things are going pretty well. There's a, a last show in town on Saturday night that at the end of our program today we're going to have some tickets to give away to because that's actually sold out on Saturday night, which is going to be kind of cool. Um, we want to welcome Lisa, Hannig- Lisa Hannigan to the studio as well. Welcome. Thank you. Um, I think I'll just throw it over to you guys. We'll come back and catch up in the middle if you do a set of music, and then we'll see what's going on. It's Damien Rice okay. from Wanna Becomes Galactic. Nothing unusual. Strange, close to nothing at all. Same old scenarios, same old rain. There's no explosions here. Something unusual, something strange. Come from nothing at all I saw a spaceship just fly by your window Did you see it disappear? Amy, come sit on my wall And read me the story Tell it like you still believe At the end of a century Brings a change For you and me Nothing unusual Nothing's changed Just a little older, that's all Knowing you found it There's something I've learned Cause you feel it when they take it away Hey, 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 something unusual Now something's changed, yeah It come from nothing at all But I'm not a miracle, you're not a saint You're just another soldier on a road to nowhere And Amy, come sit on my wall Yeah, read me a story of old Just tell it like you You still believe At the end of the century it Brings a change for you and me And Amy Come sit on my arm And read me the story of all Tell it like you still believe At the end of a century Brings a change for you and Of lust, if you must now, we got a lot to learn. Yeah, 
well. My love, my life, my work, my time, and I give them all to you. Your hand in mine, we walk, we talk in rhyme, we go the whole night through, yeah. But I am a mad grain of sand. I don't care what's written in your hand. It's bound to change, yeah. So bored and I'm lost, cost cold. I'm getting older now. Rip it up, rip it up now. Have it sold. I'm a grower anymore, 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 anymore. I wanna be with you. Just wanna be with you. But you tease me, and it shows in the way that you play it.、Yeah. You think you know my love? Pick up, young girl, and take a taste, not a bite of a life now. Can tell you never come. Yeah, well, my will, my mind, my lips, my line, they got 'em all over you. Your taste combined with all the years of wasting time, I gotta hold on to something new. I am not a grain of sand. I don't care what's written in your hand, 'cause it's bound to change. Yes, so bored and I'm lost, cost gold. I'm getting older, but I'm gonna rip that up now. If it's so, I'm a grower anymore, 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 anymore. I wanna be with you, just, just wanna be with you. But I don't wanna pray for what is not right, and I don't wanna beg for what is not mine. I don't wanna run the road between dreams and worldly things. Oh, I could charge, man, I could really try. But I don't wanna be the brave one in a senseless fight. No, I said I, I said I, 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 I just wanna be here tonight. So bored and I'm lost, cost cold. I'm getting older. Rip it up, rip it up now. Have it sold. I'm a grower anymore, 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 anymore. I wanna be with you. Just wanna be with you. So bored and I'm lost, cost cold. I'm getting older. About that book, rip it up now. Have it sold. I'm a grower anymore, 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 anymore. Anymore, 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 anymore. Keep me in a glass jar sealed with a label. You think you know my world? Wake up, young girl. Should I speak? Should I bother shaking hands? Am I weak? I leave it as it stands. I've submerged and I've surfaced with the blame. I guess I'm no good. Guess I'm insane. She bleeds. And should I wipe up the stain? And if I'm alone, can I drown in this rain? Guess I'm no good. Guess I'm insane. 
hate when you say that I never fight for you. Sometimes you bleed all over my skin. Closer than close, yeah. And that's where I give it. Should I go? She calls out my name. My mind. I betray you once again. Why should I climb? What is there to gain? Cause this is no good. This is insane. I hate when you say I never fight for you. Sometimes you breathe all over my skin. You always end up. Much closer than close, yeah.、Mm-hmm. That's the swell I give it. I give it. And you take it. And you take it. You're taking me down, 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 down. And you're taking, and you're taking, and you're taking me down. And you are. Than close.、Mm, yeah. That is when I give in. Yeah, that is when I give in. I said that. Um, yeah, sure. Let's let's have a chat. Damien Rice is on Morning Becomes Eclectic. Tell us about the last song you played.、Um, <clears throat> I, 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 it was、um, um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> what, what was Sorry, it? What was it called? Give me, give me it's called Insane. Okay.、Um, I wrote it、um, a good couple of years ago. Actually, it was one of the first songs I wrote. That、um, it was at a point where I was living in this. This house in 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 the countryside it was a big, thick,、um, big brick, thick walled house, but two feet thick, and it was、um, really damp and、uh, depressing and stuff. And I, I lived there with a band that I was in at the time. It was about was this se- in, Ar- in, Ar- in Ireland? In Ireland, yeah,、right. about seven years ago.、Um, and I'd spent a period of time trying to write songs for because、um, we had management at the time, and we were just you know we were being approached by record companies or whatever, and we were. 
I uh, spent time trying to write singles and stuff, and I just got to the point where um, I got really peed off with that, and I, I, um, I turned around and wrote a couple of um, uh, really angry songs and really um, sad songs, and Eskimo was one of them that came out of it as well. And just from then on, I never tried to write a song again, so that was one of the sort of turning point songs for me. <laughs> I remember when we, uh, when we met, well, just to back up a little bit for perhaps people who uh, are not that familiar with the music or didn't hear you last time you were on our show. We met you last October. I think it was actually Halloween when mm-hmm. you came to New York and played on our show as a part of the CMJ thing. And uh, I remember talking to you at that time, and uh, one of the things that was very clear from our conversation uh, was that your experiences in being in a band and trying to uh, to play the game, I guess, and write the songs that people wanted, uh, record labels wanted, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, really kind of was very destructive to you as, as a songwriter. And you said to me back then, and I guess you just said it again, that you had to hit a point where you realized that you had to write these songs for yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and funnily enough, actually, the, the I wouldn't even say that it was totally destructive. It was something that um, caused a lot of sort of um, frustration within me but I think um, and, and destruction in, in some ways within me but out of that came something else that, that maybe I wouldn't have gotten if it wasn't for them so maybe I should be thankful for them yeah. <laughs> the, the phoenix rises I mean, <laughs> uh, those experiences can really take us into a different place now the, the collection of songs that is on the album O and we should point yeah. out this album is still only available at import at this time although I, I do believe that it's going to be coming out domestically soon right maybe in May or yeah, something so. like that yeah, the- I know you've been talking to people about putting it out have you actually got the deal in place to release the record? Um, we're very close, close to, to close to doing close it. To it. Yeah. Uh, this collection of songs then came, came about after you'd broken up from uh, from this band. Mm-hmm. And um, when did you record it? Tell us a little bit about recording it, because I know you recorded uh, at home a lot of it, right? Yeah. Um, I, 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 it was about two and a half years ago. Um, I think. God, I've no I've no idea or perspective of time anymore. It's really strange. <laughs> I never know when the weekends are, but. Um, that's a nice feeling, by the way. Is I, it? Oh, yeah. I, I, d- I just don't know any other yeah. feelings. So. I think I was unemployed last time I had that feeling. <laughs> but <laughs> um, So, yeah, it was, I think it was about two and a half years ago. I, just, um, I had just come off a, a kind of eight months of traveling around Europe. I, I, I spent the time sort of um, seeing if I could live off the street with, with music. So I took a guitar like and... busking. Busking, yeah. yeah. Um, and I came back and I had a really good time, but I, I just had this... I had this very strong urge to record a record and, and um but I didn't want to do it in the way I'd done it before in the bands I, I'd been in previously with them um, going into studios with producers and stuff I just all the all the stuff that I'd recorded that I felt was really that I really liked um were the demos the things I'd just done at home even though the quality would might not have been very good I, I, I there was something about them so um I um I was given some money by a friend of mine David Arnold in, in, who's based in London and um I bought a studio with the money <laughs> And just recorded, started recording at home, uh, mainly in the evening. Actually, like at times where when I would write, it'd be maybe I'd come home from from being out, and I'd have just met somebody when I was out who'd um, troubled me somewhat or whatever. So you'd go home and write a song, <laughs> and I'd go home and either write and or else record a song that I'd already written about them or something. Right. Just in that moment where I really felt it, you know, because I I always felt that those kind of times I, I was just much more honest with myself because I wasn't thinking about how I was sounding. It was just the emotion coming straight out, you know. So. Now, releasing the album about a year ago, I guess, in Ireland, right? February, yeah. February, right, so yeah. close on a year. Yeah. Uh, and I know it's done very well o- over over there. That's got to feel good to be uh, successful back at home. Yeah, it's it's nuts, actually. The whole thing is, is um, a bit nuts. It's a little out of <laughs> control, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's almost like, you know, because um, I was talking to somebody about it recently, it's almost like we're pretending that things are going look like you make up um, an imaginary situation and uh-huh. imagine this goes really well imagine that goes really well imagine, and then you just go oh look you know it's 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 very it's very strange because i i really felt like um we when we finished the, the record that we'd made a very selfish record that we'd made a record that you know that we liked and 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 shag it and that's all i really wanted to do was make something because i thought you know i may only ever make one album you know i, I thought I'm, i might do this and get it out of my system and i might never want to go back to it again so i thought it, the, it, the one album i do make i just want to make it so that in a way that that i love you know and i remember listening back to it thinking it was really slow and you know really mellow there was no singles no nothing on it and i just kind of thought you know this is people aren't really going to like this. There'll be some people out there like me, but it was a bit mad when it went really well, yeah. Well, and obviously you can feel good about the fact that you recorded a record that you like, which at the end of the day is something that 
perhaps a lot of people don't have that experience anymore, at least if they're right. within the system. Um, we we got this, as you know, last May, and I still don't know who actually sent it to me. I don't know if it was Rob or... I think it was Rob or Ben, yeah. Yeah, I, I think so. And uh, obviously we started playing it, and people were really digging it over here. And uh, we met in, in October. And now you've been in L.A. doing your first shows. How, how's it going? You've been having a good time, I hope. Really good, yeah. yeah. I, I love it here, actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, it's funny because one or two friends of mine, um, when they spoke about Los Angeles or whatever, I had, the image that I got from them, um, I had this feeling coming over like, mm, I'd like it, but I wouldn't really like it or something. But right. I just came here and landed and it, immediately I was like, OK, <laughs> I think I've been seduced already. Yeah, didn't totally. take long, huh? No, I was supposed to be flying back on Sunday, but uh, there's talk of postponing. You're trying to flight. extend your stay. Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> well, I'm going to throw it back to you because I want to hear some more music. We've probably got about um, 17, 18 minutes left. And okay. Let's, let's hear some more music. I'll give you three more songs then because uh, they're about five minutes each or so. Okay.
wanna wait, suck it up, come, my love, eat your meat, keep your teeth, rub, you lost me, you cost me, you thought me of me, yeah, we're back, what we do, stupid fool, you wanna get bone, you wanna get stoned, you wanna get a room like no one else, you wanna be rich, you wanna be kitsch, Wanna be the master of yourself You wanna get burned You wanna get turned You wanna get mucked inside out You wanna be rude You wanna be fooled You wanna be a woman like a man Like a woman like a man Like a man Like a man You like a man You like a man Woman like a man Like a man You like a man You like a man So I'm going to do a Nina Simone song. That's all right. It's just, just percussion. Is that all right?
don't treat me so dog on me please don't treat me so dog on me now. you're the meanest man i ever seen You guys are quite the team. She's got your back there, man. I'm telling you. Uh, Damien Rice, accompanied by Lisa Hannigan on Morning Becomes Eclectic. Um, I guess you probably haven't got time to change that string, have you? Uh, have you? We could tell some jokes while you're doing it. Yeah. You, you want to? Well, i got about seven minutes left. Uh, if you could change it in like a, a couple of minutes, we could probably slip another one in. If you don't want to, we'll just wrap things up yeah, and no, we'll, th- we'll throw a bit of film music on, yeah? All right, so look, why don't I just uh, catch people up with what's going on? It's uh, Damien Rice's album is called O, and it, is, uh, it is O, right? It's not zero, right? It's O. Okay. <laughs> Figured I should know after eight months. Um, it's available right now on import. You can also pick it up at his, at his website, DamienRice.com. When you're here before I couldn't look you in the eye You're just like an angel Your skin makes me cry You flow like a feather World. I wish I was special You're so very special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here?
whatever you want You're so very special I wish I was special But I'm a creep I'm a I doing here I don't belong here I don't belong here We got what four four and a half minutes something like that so Okay this is four we'll, minutes We'll let you we'll let you play it out Damien Rice thanks for coming in man Thank you so much All right. and thanks a lot to everybody here for, for making it possible for, to, for us to come over and play these gigs. Don't hold yourself like that Cause you hurt your knees yeah. mm. I kissed your mouth and your back But that's all I need Don't build your world around Volcanoes melt you down And what I am to you is, is not real And what I am to you, yeah, you do not need oh, And what I am to you is not what you mean to me yeah. You give me miles and miles of mountains and I ask for the
Perfect. We've got about 40 seconds left, so just uh, time for me to say thank you again. Appreciate you coming in this morning, and uh, Lisa as well, obviously. And good luck with the, the rest of the stay, if you manage to extend it. And I don't know what you're going to do, but <laughs> hang out, get a bit of sunshine. Cheers. And, uh, I want to say thanks to Joe Shearer, by the way, my friend who's... Who's been, put, put you up and yeah. hooked you up with gear and, and, and the whole thing, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.